Um, so many people relate exercising, going to the gym, or becoming healthy or fit as being tedious, monotonous, boring, or ineffective. Uh, but there's a new workout program called CrossFit that eliminates all these negative stereotypes about working out. Um, so I've been researching this topic for the past several weeks, but I also have two close friends that are part of this program that have had uh, tremendous benefits from it. Um, so I'm sure a lot of us, we've made New Year's resolutions or goals in the past to slim down or achieve a perfect body or to get healthier. But a lot, of, a lot of us actually failed these goals because it's either difficult to maintain or you either feel defeated. So today, I want to introduce to you to CrossFit. It's a workout program that has many significant benefits. I will be explaining what CrossFit is, talk about the exercises involved with CrossFit, its benefits, and where CrossFit is today. So CrossFit is a workout program that's um, recognized worldwide, but many of us still don't know what it is. So the first thing I want to do is introduce CrossFit and show how it's different from a, a typical gym. So CrossFit was started by Greg Glassman in 1995 in Santa Cruz, California. Um, Glassman created a conditioning program that mixes Olympic, work, work, or Olympic weightlifting, sprinting, gymnastics, and a few other unique exercises. Most workout regimens require, so when you go to the gym, a typical workout, you know, it takes a couple hours to finish. Um, you have to lift heavy weights and you have to do repetitive exercises. But CrossFit, it's more appealing than going to the gym because it uses um, the exercises that I mentioned below in a short, intense workout that is constantly changing to create a program that attacks all muscle groups and creates results. Um, so another thing that is different about this program is that CrossFit gyms don't look like a typical gym. Um, so this is a CrossFit gym. And as you can see, there's no mirrors, there's no uh, typical exercising machine you see at the gym. Um, instead, a CrossFit gym, which is often called the box, is composed mostly of open space, rubber floor, high ceilings, and equipment such as barbells, kettlebells, medicine balls, jump ropes, and rolling machines that are stacked around the pit perimeter. Um, one of the biggest factors that actually make CrossFit uh, more appealing than working out at a gym is that there's a sense of teamwork you get when you go to CrossFit. Um, at a CrossFit gym, there's people, so while you're doing a your workout, there's people next to you, or there's always a group of people that are doing the same exact, exact exercise as you. And not only that, there's trainers and other members of the program that are always there to encourage you and cheer you on to help motivate you and finish the workout. So now that you have a general idea of what CrossFit is, Let's take a look at the exercises that is involved with this program and its benefits. So at CrossFit, there's a, so every time you go, there's always a set regimen uh, that you do every single day. So the workout is called WOD, or Workout of the Day. Um, one of the first exercises at CrossFit, or one of the many exercises at CrossFit is called a burpee. Um, that, and you can see here, a burpee, you start at a standing position, uh, you drop into a squat, and then you extend your feet back to a push-up position, and then you do a push-up, and then you return back to the squat position, and then you jump as high as you can. Uh, the reason why this workout is effective is that it um, uses many muscles of your body, and it uses cardio at the same time. Um, another workout that's used at CrossFit is called a wall ball. Uh, this exercise requires the person doing the exercise to squat, as you see here, uh, with the medicine ball, and then while you're standing up, you throw the medicine ball against the wall, and then you catch it. Um, the third type of exercise is, or a third type of exercise is the kettlebell swing. This exercise requires the person to squat while putting the kettlebell between your legs, and then standing up and swinging the kettlebell above your head. Um, so there's a lot more exercises in CrossFit that make the workout fun and interesting while you burn a lot of calories and developing a lot of different muscles. Um, the reason why these exercises are unique is that they are done in short sets with little or no rest in between. So each uh, workout, so the whole, the whole program, you usually finish in 20 minutes at the most or less, and this makes the workout quick, fun, and very doable. And the workouts, uh, the exercises work out core muscles, and they constantly change every day so that uh, your exercise is always interesting and new. Um, the benefits of the CrossFit exercises is that it develops 
Um, core muscles, it burns a lot of calories in a short period, period of time and it improves aerobic fitness and promotes uh, muscular growth. So, although the exercises done at CrossFit may seem intimidating to some the first time you go, the program is actually designed so that you can do everything at your own intensity. So, it can be done by people with different kinds of fitness levels. So, even when you go to a CrossFit gym, you'll meet people uh, ranging from MMA fighters to like stay-at-home moms or even older people with uh, like diseases, like heart disease. Um, and another benefit, according to Fred Glassman, the creator of CrossFit, is that it gives you, it teaches you to not quit. It teaches you how to be persistent, hardworking, and self-reliant. Okay, so I've talked to you guys about the workouts involved with CrossFit and its benefits. So I want to show you now where CrossFit is today and how you can become a member. So CrossFit has actually become popular recently. In 2005, there were about 18 gyms, um, but now there's about 3,000 gyms worldwide affiliated with CrossFit. So due to its popularity and success, CrossFit, um, they've had, they received a lot of sponsorships uh, from companies such as Reebok. And another cool way to check out CrossFit is at its yearly competitions, and this year, uh, the competition is going to be hosted by Reebok and you're going to see a lot of athletes and a lot of teams competing and working out. Uh, so if you personally want to go to a CrossFit gym, here in Orange County there's one at Brea, Orange, Anaheim, Placentia, Huntington Beach, and a lot of other cities. Um, so today I talked about what CrossFit is, the workouts involved with CrossFit and its, its benefits and where CrossFit is today. Uh, so for those of you who are interested in finding a new workout routine, or even challenging yourself to become a better athlete, I encourage you to try out CrossFit. Thank you. Alex, you here? Yeah. What did you think? Um, well, I like the pieces, uh, how it started. Uh, the intro was good, and the pieces were clearly stated. Um, it was an interesting topic to me because I never really heard of the, the workout or the gym. Um, I think what he could have done better was uh, not read the whole lesson, like he was just reading the speech off the card. Uh, the visuals are simple, and they I like seeing that kind of, uh, the different types of workouts. Uh, the transitions were okay, like I noticed that when he was moving on to the next topic. And at the end, I like that he, um, he restated the structure of the speech. Okay, I'm going to agree with you on a lot of those things. At the end, uh, I, the idea of restating the structure is fine. Don't forget that that's not quite what a summary is, because that just kind of repeats the preview. Don't forget to kind of paraphrase what we learned in each of those points, and I think that the, there's a lot that you can do there to fix that. I kind of have to agree about the presentation. To me, that's the weakest part of the speech, and that's mostly that you're doing a lot of reading. And you seem to know this. It, it's something that you do. Is it something that you do, or something um, just no. your friends have heard of? Like yeah. Well, you know, so so it's something that you know about. I think that uh, you know you need to have a little bit more enthusiasm and control over what's going on, so it really feels like you're talking to us. It's and part of it is the pacing. Part of it is the the reading. Sometimes it's it's just a little bit of pronunciation issues. Like you were rushing over the phrase about the cannonballs, and when you listen back to it, it doesn't sound very clear. Uh, but organizationally, it, well, first in the introduction, everything is really solid. You've got a very clear thesis statement, a good uh, preview of what the content's going to be. I didn't think that the definition that you started off with was as clear as it could be. You said you were going to be referring to a series of exercises later on, and I'm going, okay, so you're going to define something by telling us what it means later. I'm not sure that you need to uh, do that in two different places. Just give us an explanation that it's really not just a, a workout that's based on a particular type of working out, but a variety of um, exercises and activities and working them in combination with each other. And I'll show you in a minute how to do that. And I, I, that would make a little bit more sense. The visualizations were fine. <coughs> One of the things I was wondering is uh, about the repetitions or the uh, series that you do. How do, how is it to, how do you determine you know, what the uh, 
sequencing is or is it just you know every